That famous saying, the show must go on, is certainly true in Hollywood. A few days ago, it was announced filming on the ill-fated cowboy movie Rust will recommence within months. The production had been abruptly halted back in October 2021 when cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed, shot by actor Alec Baldwin. He's facing serious charges and possible jail time over the tragedy, yet will still resume his leading role on set. Many in the film industry, however, aren't pleased about the cameras rolling again. They're fearful not enough has been done to prevent another catastrophe. When Alec Baldwin was handed this gun on the set of Rust, he could never have known what was about to happen. One female shot the chest, male shot in the stomach. Request an air flight. That he would shoot and kill the film's cinematographer, Helena Hutchins. How do I know this is a gun? That's the gun! Okay. Police captured this footage of young Rust armourer Hannah Gutierrez Reed moments after the shooting. It was her job to load Alec Baldwin's gun with dummy bullets, but she accidentally inserted one live round. The film's special effects expert, Thomas Gandy, was on set. The gun went off. The room instantly full of smoke. You just don't ever think the unthinkable. You just don't think that there could really be a bullet. And it wasn't the first time things had gone wrong on the low-budget film. Well, I think the first thing that jumped out to me was that uh, at least 75% of the crew were people that had never been on a movie set before, very green. Our investigation into the shooting on the Bonanza Creek movie ranch in New Mexico revealed multiple violations and cost cutting from the top down. Well, welcome, Amelia, to the Scatamonga Movie Ranch here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. You got a lot happening here. Jay Sanchez runs a movie ranch nearby. He's convinced dangerous mistakes on set are a direct result of how these low budget movies are funded they are leveraged as a tax write-off. And they make money, they flip the film, and they're really not interested in if it's gonna be a blockbuster or not. So what you have more is more financial decisions being levied on the production uh, to save as much money as possible. And if you keep stripping a budget down, you're gonna have problems. Last year, Jay kicked an entire film production crew off his movie ranch because they were ignoring safety protocols. I'm watching this one day of filming. You're all over that canyon, passing equipment down, and one slip, and somebody's going to die in that canyon. Uh, and we went back and looked at their paperwork, and they, in fact, did not have... They didn't have workman's comp. And so corners were being cut. But that was just one of a few things. Then we heard that the crew wasn't being paid. At any moment, somebody could have died. He discovered the movie was financed by Wall Street investors using a legal loophole to write off tax. Rust used a similar scheme. So are you worried that what happened on the set of Rust could happen again? It shouldn't, but if, if you systematically fail, to run your production in a safe and proper manner with at least the proper amount of financing to do it, you're gonna have something like this. Late last month, Hannah Gutierrez Reed and Alec Baldwin were charged with involuntary manslaughter, each facing five years in prison. But producers are determined Rust will make it to the big screen with Alec Baldwin resuming his starring role. Surprisingly, Helena Hutchins' husband is stepping in as executive producer. This time, there'll be no real guns or live ammunition. For Thomas Gandy, it's a fitting tribute to Helena. I think that Helena would like to see it finished. I really do. I think that in the lieu of the tragedy that happened, it'd be nice to see something good come of it. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. 
And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.